back out, back out, to try and press the issue. And Damien took it a little bit further and was like up on the Capitol set. With it, we got a nice shot of him with the uh, Honolulu Police Department in the background holding it. So they never came back out after that. And uh, I think some of his uh, fellow pigs were telling him to back off of it as well. So if they try and pull that shit on you, the only thing that the First Amendment doesn't cover is if you're advocating violence against somebody or whatever it would fall under if you decide you can be stupid and yell like fire in a theater or something like that. Oh, but any, yeah, endangerment or whatever that is, right? But anything else is fair game. So you can scream all the obscenities you want at them, you know, and uh, there isn't a damn thing that they can do about that. So game is around on that. I'd like to add something to that. I say that I agree if there's a situation and you're not doing anything that's harmful to other people and they're going to arrest you, take the fucking arrest. Tell them to detain you, arrest you, whatever else, because the more people that end up being arrested for bullshit, then maybe we can fucking get somewhere with that. Yeah, like if they keep manipulating and picking on everybody that's trying to fucking have free speech and just have a movement, you know, that's fucking legal. So if they're coming in, creating situations to arrest us and they keep doing it to all of us, because they also told me the other day, and I told them to detain me now, but they refused and turned around and walked away and fucked with someone else. So, so you want. It's not about winning or losing. If they want to take you, go. Go and don't ever sign anything. Just don't sign nothing. Yeah, I Just signed nothing. Cheated. I didn't sign anything. Don't sign nothing. Don't tell them shit. Yeah, don't tell them nothing. So, also along those lines, the uh, federal government is looking at municipalities and other police forces. Okay. How's it going? Uh, you guys here for the... Prayer? No, okay. that's why we're leaving them alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're having a meeting. Yeah, we're just on our team. No, 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 no. We just right want to know what you guys are here for, not for the prayer. Right. Okay. You guys here for any specific reason? Yeah. You know, like with a tent? Yeah. No, 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 no. Right now. Sorry. Maybe another time. We just want to know well, what you... Working. Yeah, you can get that off. Yeah, we're well, you, you, you're in public, so... Yeah, we're working in public. Did somebody, okay somebody call? Did it? We never called, them, right? No, no. Someone called because of you guys' tents. Oh, what's we about just, it? We, I just got a simple question. What are you guys here for? For the governor. Yeah. For the governor. Yes. Okay. You guys planning on camping here also? Yes. Overnight. We're waiting yes. for the governor. You guys waiting for the governor? Yes. We have urgent business. We're tired of getting blown off by the mayor, the corporate council, DFM, the park department, you know, the, the whole shebang. It's a, public, it's a public building and you guys can go in and do it Actually, I've tried that and I was denied. So, you know, as, we're, as our group is continuously denied by officials, yes. you know, and, and Occupy Honolulu. And, uh, you know, since we keep constantly getting denied, and now that we've, uh, we've had police violence, DFM violence, DFM's now just taking stuff, calling everything trash, not even following around with Bill 54, the incident that went on with Kiao, you know, with the eviction there, you know, it's just a general, the, the, the reason why we're there is to be in solidarity with the houseless in the situation, because the state isn't taking proper means to account for what's going on. Mm -hmm. And by them now bringing on violence and theft and everything else that's been going on, it's just getting stupid. And, we, and we've and we tried to keep it at the city level since it's the city action that keeps doing it. But yeah. since they're refusing left and right, we just had one occupier arrested because she walked up to him, asked him a question, she turned around and told the police officer to arrest her. So we're not even allowed to ask a question to the mayor. So if the city level doesn't want to deal with it and they want to take that kind of account because we ask one question, we have to see the governor. And, we're having and since okay. the governor has actually denied us before, we'll sit out here until he decides to say, hey, come on in, we'll talk. That's all. We're not here to start trouble. We're, 
Yeah, we're not here to start trouble. We're not here to have a riot. We're not here to do anything distasteful towards the building or people that come through. You know, so right. No, no, I, I fully understand why you guys are here. I mean, you know, I mean, you got a bunch of people standing, uh, sitting around out here in tents. You know, and. And no, we're not going to take up this whole walkway and keep people from being able to have travel through here. Yeah. So you don't have to work. Yeah, we're not going to do that. You, yeah, we, we believe in trying to be peaceful and following laws. So you won't have to worry about any of that. Okay. That I appreciate. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want somebody walking on the street and to get back. Right, right. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. We, if, if you could let, you know, at least let pedestrians. Yeah, we, we will for sure. And uh, once we get done with the GA, which is actually just about over with, you won't even see a whole group sitting out in the middle of the sidewalk. We will be on the one end. We'll see. I'm just concerned yeah. with uh, not only the, the, the public safety, but yours also. Yeah. Okay, so. But we were, the only reason why we weren't in the grass right now is just because we do know it's after hours for the place. We don't want to cause a problem for the building itself, for the people that's there with them, you know, and I mean, they have obviously a right to be here too. And if the commotion starts because we're sitting on property, that's just crazy. It, it's not needed, you know, so we're, we're just like, why even have that kind of confrontation? That's the only reason why we're sitting out here like this. He's probably more on your side than the mayor ever will be. Okay. That man is from the 60s and 70s. He came from that era where, we're, you know, stood up, stood up against him. Don't don't ask me. People saying, voted him in. He, right. Side. People voted right. him in. Don't ask me. I didn't vote for the man. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Like I said, your gripe is not with us. Right. No, right? it's not. And, like you know, she, she just brought to my attention that. She never tried to make an attempt to meet with Governor Abercrombie. Maybe you guys should. Oh, I have. But this is a wrong message of doing it to him. It's camp out here. I mean, the man lives right there. Huh? I, we actually well, walked maybe, in while while well, he was no, there in his office and asked. Who here is an upstanding citizen right now? I think we are. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm on the... Who hasn't been arrested here? Here. Hands down. Hands down. Who hasn't been Who here has not been arrested? Here. By Honolulu? Okay. Have somebody, have somebody who is in good standing with you folks, all right? That has not had any arrests, you know, and that can actually. He's not going to lose them, the lose it. Board. I'm on the neighborhood have a board. With the meeting, with the meeting with the governor. Okay, you need somebody who's going to go in there with a. Why? You know, why does it matter if someone's been arrested or not? He's not a curiosity. Like what does what does somebody's arrest record? Because have? technically speaking, yeah, most people who've been arrested or have been convicted of a crime, the credibility goes out the door. Well, my crime was being in a car after a lot. Technically, it is. I think he's saying to have a better chance at her voice like, being heard. Okay. What he's getting at. Our, our, system is not, our system is not perfect, all right? But we still have the best government in the world. I would agree. I would agree. Or run against, run against the guys who are running the place. No, no, no. That's how Patriots do. 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 That's Okay, if it's not working correctly, then you guys have to step up. If you guys don't feel that way, then you gotta step up. You know, it's only like how much twenty bucks to put your name on the ballot, right? We're trying to actually get to the public. This is a public. We don't want to join the system. We want to stop it. Well, I'm trying to reason. He's being cool, though. He's not being a cool guy. Who wants to arrest anybody? Right? <laughs> yeah. That's just more work for me, all right? But trust me, guys, you know what, man? I, I, I feel you, okay? But you got to do it the right way. See, the, 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 and you know what? It's the right way. Because the problem is, if we got to pay to get our attention, you know, we got to jump through all these loopholes. Then you got to you gotta think of other ways. To reach these guys by sending them a message like, hey, you know what? If you guys really do are convinced in your purpose, all right, then you can convince these other people here. Have them vote. Have them vote that guy out. That's the case. But if we're 
Just voting another that's, guy that's, in. That's the problem. We are playing within their system. We don't want to vote within their system. Then you know what? This is this is America. That's how this government was founded on. That's how this country was founded. It was founded. It's so. changed from what it's founded on. Well, you actually got to you actually got to think of it in this way. I fully support what you're saying. I understand your view of it, but you also got to remember that it says we the people, and we're the ones that we we have to be the voice for them to represent. And if we don't give them a voice to represent, then they'll re represent themselves. You know. So, but if they don't, if they won't allow us to talk to them, the only other means is to force our way there, which we do have that right. And that's what we're doing. You're saying we could take it as in voting them out. But some of these individuals don't want, have any aspirations to be a governor. That doesn't mean that they don't you like... you find somebody yeah, that but does that, have that aspiration. Oh, that's no, you shouldn't have to do it that way. That's because, your vision, your view. Oh, sorry. Uh, but you also have to look at it, well, what about the corporations that invest their money into, into our government? You know, that's what's brought us, brought us the problem as it is. So if they're using money to get their voice in, but here we're the ones that actually voted them in. Something's wrong with that system. All we should be able to have to do is be able to talk to him, and he should be able to sit there and either tally up a vote or talk with the, his council or his members and devise a plan or find out what's best for everyone instead of just using his own view. But he doesn't know what other people are, are thinking if he doesn't want to talk to him. Okay, if that's the case, though, right, if it's what's best for everyone, why isn't everyone not here? Well, if you, I mean, well, I can tell you, we were actually starting to get pretty big for a while there, and after 18 raids. Okay, but you, you got to remember when HPD has come down on us 18 times, 18 raids, Pacific raids, not 18 visits, but raids themselves. You know, of taking items, now doing abuse. You know. Stealing stuff. Uh, uh, we've had unlawful arrests where they were thrown out. When you when you put a person through all that, what do you think you actually do? They're breaking them down. You're looking at the dedicated people of, of Occupy yeah. Honolulu that doesn't that's care, and we're going to keep going through it. But no the other people that's sitting by and they're still talking and messaging, you know, just because there isn't here doesn't mean we don't have the support. We have a lot of support. On the Million I mean, Man March, 600,000 came out the last day. Well, you know what? I hope that support does come in November. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I All thought right, you man. was wearing blue, You have a good brother. night. Sorry I thought you was in blue, brother. <laughs> okay. You yeah, have a good one. Guys, just do me one favor. Just make sure people are allowed to... I promise you, man. Fast. You're not going to get... So they don't have to walk on the street. Yeah, you're not going to see us blocking yeah, yeah. and keep it from people doing it. Have a good night. All right. There we go. To quickly finish my thought, um, the very same district that we're in, the federal government is looking at city municipalities and how they're handling and occupied protesters. Oakland PD has got themselves in a shitload of trouble right now where they have two weeks to rectify the massive amount of complaints against uh, Oakland PD, otherwise federal authorities will intervene. And then that's the same district as us. So if we uh, continue to have to go through this kind of bullshit, then I think it's in our best interest to start uh, trying to contact federal authorities if we can't resolve it on a local level, uh, because there's a couple federal judges in this district that have been pretty apt to uh, make sure that she's going right with it. So, I mean, I'll be the first one to say that the system is broken, but perhaps there's still a few good people left in it. And uh, maybe we can do some damage that way. But, given the district for it, you know, but the, the unlawful arrest of uh, Midori, the bullshit information that has been fed to multiple people about what does and does not constitute free speech. I mean, these are the Constitution issues. This isn't just bullshit local laws or whatever. These people are willfully breaking the Constitution or bending it as much as they can. So, I know a lot of people don't even support our government. I'm one of those people. But if it fucks up their day, I'm all for it. So. Hey, what's next? Oh, sorry. Uh, is, that, is that the end of the announcement? Yes, okay. Uh, does anyone have any proposals? Proposals! No! Discussion! How about me?
May 1st. Oh, we need a debrief. We should debrief on May 1st. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I think the discussion part was. Andy? I will start. Um, in my bag, would you be able to get my battery and uh, cable the batteries um, in the main pocket with my jacket? In the, in the, well, you, you, the light actually helps. And then uh, my cable is in the small pocket in the very top. Where's the battery? The battery's in the main pocket where my jacket and everything's kept. And the cable's in the small pocket. Sorry guys, I have to get some extra battery supply here. <laughs> my phone's really straining on this uh, weak, very weak single we got. Uh, we're now talking about May 1st and how we had a pretty good uh, turnout and uh, the activities that was involved and how everything went through on May 1st was actually a pretty good success. Justice. Do you want like like you know like what can we do like we what what issues are important to you what can we showcase for you um, at this monthly thing like if you're, if you're interested in working with us like Midori knows the people that are interested in working with us so if we can showcase them and we can do like a year of like one event every month for like a different uh, community thing and then do our May first thing. We can just continuously build up to May 1st through through those and do coalition building at the same time. Just an idea. I suggested to Midori already. Uh, I think they did. They both did a great job already. But if we're going to start getting involved with a monthly event and musicians, then I think we need to seek promotion. There's actual people that it's their freaking job to know musicians, to coordinate events, to present flyers, design them, produce them. There's people that it's their jobs, and there's some that are definitely going to want compensation that can't be afforded, but there's others that are just going to want the publicity that they can gain themselves from doing it, which is the same as this DJ guy. He probably wants to do it once a month because he's going to gain something from it. 
right? There's nothing wrong with that because he's helping to help himself. So all I'm saying is there's going to be promoters out there that are going to be willing to help and they're going to have the connections that are needed to bring in things, musicians, flyers, cheap printing. They're already going to be connected to that world. So, you know, great job, but there's somebody that can take that burden off of you and you can concentrate on something more important. I think you're gonna bring those here. The green. The green, man. The green. The green yeah, band. the green is good. It's a it's a local band. It's a local Break band. Break it, man. Freaking huge. And if you brought them to the park, you would see the park so fucking full of people like that. Yeah, and, and then and then yeah. we could maybe turn some people on to the Occupy and bring. We're going to bring more. We get soldier. <laughs> if we can get, yeah. If we can get soldier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying with a promoter, bro. It isn't that you don't know people and you can't do it. It's going to... I'd like to see something big. I, I like going big. That's why I was already telling you, but I like getting into the federal amendment. Fuck the city, the county. I like to go straight to the Fed. You know, but, like, you know, building it up. But I'd hope one day it would be, yeah, some something serious. Or some some real status people coming in and, and recruiting other people just because of status. But I like the, the DJ was good, the musicians were good, the low, the, the low key, I just like to see it huge. Oh, but I keep waiting for it. Oh, I keep waiting for the block oh, to blow it. up with people, the party to blow up. Yeah. I got a direct response on that. Does anybody know Breath of Fire? I know one of the singers from Breath of Fire, so I mean, we could get them to come down and play perhaps. Okay. Is that like metal? Uh, no, it's right here. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that the next big activist uh, community event that's happening in Honolulu is 
gay pride march is June. June, June, June. June is gay pride month and the LGBT community is really fucking good at lobbying those guys. They're really good at it. And yeah, they have their own caucus in the Democratic Party. And Pride at Work is down as fuck for this sort of shit. Like, they want to work with us. So maybe for June it would be a good idea to work with Pride at Work on something. Uh, so, so that we can hook up with that part of the community since there's already going to Okay, be we a have a lot, of, a lot of officers showing up here. Uh, we got a, a lot of attention. <laughs> okay. instead of like outsourcing it to professional assholes to get bought. And I'm before anyway, just what I wanted to say. with some of the people who are organizing it and they managed to pull Tom Morello uh, from what I understand they managed to pull Tom Morello and these are people that have never done this shit before in their life so um, I can talk to some of them if we're serious about this about you know who they know who to go through and things of that nature because they've already been able to pull a lot of contacts within the uh, music community to do this very thing so we have resources with ourselves. Um, I think by ourselves we can put something together. I think it's good to start with like mobile band. You know, you're not gonna pull somebody, you know, like right away. Maybe to get like the expo. But I mean, people like mobile band, and mobile bands aren't expecting to really get paid all that well. So you have a better opportunity and you can do it. And we can also try to come to and do some real fundraising. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we can do, but unfortunately with the society and the system we live in, it takes money to do those things. But, you know, so we should probably start thinking about that and like how to fundraise and do that. Suggested donations, yeah. you know, yeah. good or whatever, because if you start um, I, I, I know the discussion that took place in Chicago when they started to try and set ticket prices, and it was a complete clusterfuck. Um, because they were, 
because they were trying to do like $70, 70 tickets and stuff. But um, they had some pretty big names that were coming in, and they were going to take half, and then they were going to the house or whatever. But this is a movement of the 99% that has been beat down to the point where people are struggling to make their house payments. You know, so five bucks is five bucks. Let's not lose our focus on what we're doing, right? We're not promoting concerts. You know, we're trying to do something else, right? Yeah, we're bringing that the people together. I'm just saying, if you get too focused on, there's nothing wrong with using your resources, and there's nothing wrong with doing it yourself. But if you're trying to do something and you add too many distractions, then those distractions could be detrimental to what you're trying to do. Get too focused on, hey, let's have a good time and show and party and shit. And I think maybe that's what happened in the 70s. We're trying to show party. Party, good time, next thing you know, it's fucking over. <laughs> right? Then cocaine happened. That was 80s. That was 80s. Right. Yeah. So cocaine just was in the 70s. 70s. Alright. Sam was not. Because I'm the first one. Um, I didn't think you guys should be doing the, uh, like, organizing of the musicians your fucking selves, because that's how you're going to get to know people, and that's how you're going to build your own personal power base, and that's really, really important. It's very, very individually empowering for people to go through these steps themselves, and to feel empowered to take those steps and to not have to pay some deep respect to do it. Um, and like, like I said, like, I, I would really suggest going in and doing coalition building with organizations that are also doing this work so that way you can work together and it doesn't distract you from doing Horton Gears uh, thingy. And you can still do like one of those little art actions like once a month, right? But you can do it in coordination with this event, you can do it you know, outside, whatever is most feasible for, for you. But if you're paying someone else to do it, you don't have that flexibility. And it's not about it's not about it being a distraction. It's about you being able to work with other people in a cohesive way, and to be able to build community and be a face for Occupy Honolulu. That isn't fucking paid to do that job. Because if you're not paid, it says something a little bit more powerful, I think. Seems like maybe it wasn't necessarily meaning like okay, a promoter. It was more like find a promoter who's trying to become something and help him to get to where he's going and then maybe do the circle of things, it'll come back to us. If he's interested in promoting for us, then he can come to the General Assembly and work with us. Maybe he doesn't know, so I suggest we speak to him. Okay. That's actually a good idea. I like that idea if we find someone that's up and starting and trying to get something going. Because then that's another way of bringing community. Yeah, I really like that too. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a, it's a good point, right? I mean, it's like, um, a promoter is resources, you know what I mean? And if they're willing to work for free, then shoot, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't... We're on, a, we're on, a, free. We're on a limited budget, I think, pretty much zero. So, so, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah, like, we know musicians, we know cooks, we know promoters. Anybody who wants to help get in, sure, I'm cool with that, you know what I mean? Uh, just so long as we all you know, are having to say on what's happening, you know what I mean, and rather than somebody promoting, you know, for their own sake or for the sake of something else that's not about what we're about, you know, like, but, yeah, it's a, it's a resource, word. You can all, you can do both. Right, yeah, right. So it should be, it should be, like, 
us doing it, and there's nothing wrong with the help. And if it's, you know, if it's helping that person too, then that's even greater. Um, how does anyone feel about politicians showing up at an event? Love it. <laughs> Love what? It. No, 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 but listen, Love listen. It. We get them on the spot. Yeah, yeah I really like that. If you have that. time with them, you can have time with them. I don't know. Especially, especially if it was like loving, dude. If they were sitting down having that payday cake with us, as we were discussing the labor rights or this and that, you know, it's way better than if we were to even have Milani talk to about a payday. They obviously were not going to listen to even if they let her speak. You know, here, if they were to come to us, you know they're at least going to hear you. In a group of okay. yeah. As long as they came down as people and not like in a campaign. No, that's what I mean. nothing to do with legitimizing the system and um, before we take any kind of steps to legitimize the system, I think we would have to have a serious discussion about what the purpose of that is. And, it, and that's why um, we didn't make demands. Well, I should say Chicago didn't make demands. Um, we made a few and then through the course of the conversation realized the folly in our ways and came to a consensus within Chicago CA that um, by making a demand of the system, you legitimize that system. And it's an illegitimate system that has no right to, uh, you shouldn't be doing it because you recognize the fact that that system has power over no, you. I'm not and inviting you the governor, I'm, by, I'm inviting the person. It's not their title. Remember, oh, the enemy. you don't see that's the thing, and that's where I guess we differ. Right, because, and that's you know, why I would say I, I would strongly looked, suggest a, a good conversation in good faith along those lines, because that's um, something that some people are going to have legitimate problems with. Because I'll be very frank about it: anyone who is a part of the system right now, I view as the enemy. And I'm not here to work within the system. I'm not here to legitimize the system. I'm here to make demands of the general population. And whatever comes about as a result of that, so be it. But it, to me, it, it goes along the same lines of promoting one politician over another or asking people to vote or, or legitimizing the police force or, or anything like that. It all, to me, it all falls under the same category. And so I recognize the fact that not everyone holds this viewpoint, and that's why I would say before we seriously talked about anything like that, um, we would have to have a very serious discussion about what would be uh, acceptable and what wouldn't be acceptable. And I'll be very frank about it. I am way, way on the other side of saying that this is absolutely unacceptable because I view every single person who is a part of the system, whether they actively promoted the policies that are taking place or are complacent in the policies that are taking place, they're all guilty as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't be out here if they were doing their fucking job. Well, okay, we got a direct response. Then, Damien... We have a person that also response. wants to walk okay. through, and with all the PD here, we're going to well, have to I'm allow... Allow a way for this person to walk through. Um, I have a direct response to Midori. The people that you think are good people that work in there are. No, no, I'm just saying the people that you think would be advantageous for us to invite, they're scum. 
<laughs> okay, no, 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 no. I, 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 I think that a, a lot of the people in there, if you invite them, are going to try and co-op. But I think what might be, what, but what I think might be interesting is if you, if you invite them down to talk story, to interface with the public, to see grievances of the public, I think that might be an interesting event to do. But at the same time, it's, it's, I agree with him, but maybe reframe it and not invite them down to one of our events. But we can hold an event. One of our lovely signs that's actually made it through a lot. <laughs> one of the very few that the signs has made it through. My point, my point is, is that, you know, like, we can't make generalizations and uh, about, you know, the people in that system because some of them wanted to do good and they just, yeah, they may be not doing what's up, but whatever. We're, you know, but the other thing is, is that we're not legitimizing the system by having them come to a general assembly, you know, uh, we're legitimizing our system by having this person come to our general, general assembly. As far as co-opting goes, that's not an issue if we're all thinking critically. The only reason co-op co-opting even occurs is because someone starts believing someone just at face value. That's where that whole blind faith thing comes in. Someone says, "I have a really good way that we should do this," and then we say, "Sure, I'll buy that." You know what I mean? Taking it on face value. You can't be co-opted if you got your wits about you. You know what I mean? So it, it's really the co-opting thing is a non-issue. I think, I mean, it, as long as we're on our, on, as long as we're on point, I don't see the problem in, in bringing a human being, any human being, down here. You know what I mean? My issue is if we bring a politician down here, as a politician, okay, I got issues with that. I got major fucking issues. With that. I totally see your point here. You know I mean? But you know, if someone comes down there and is like, look, you know, I'm, you know who I am. Come vote for me. Then yeah, I, I have. To talk story, you got no problem, because what, what makes us better than that person is just a person. Yeah, yeah, direct so, yeah, direct response. Yeah, direct response. So, one way that uh, we handled that whole thing, they weren't, uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson contacted us and asked to speak, and this, when I say us, I mean Chicago, uh, and so the way that that was rectified because there was some people who wanted them there, some people who didn't want them there. But it is a general assembly that everyone is open to, right? So if these people come in and ask to be a part of a general assembly, I think it's hypocritical for us to say, no, you are not allowed, right? Because these are, it's open. This is why we do it outside. This isn't some secret society or, or any of that jazz or whatever. But. The way that we handled that was um, he had to get in set, and he had to play by the rules. And the uh, the format wasn't changed to accommodate him any way, shape, or form. And myself and another individual had to remind him that he had gone that he went over his time limit, and we cut him off. And later on. You know, I got to speak with him. He's actually a, a, a pretty chill guy. I, I respect what he what he did. Um, but that I can live with. But to openly solicit these people to come out and specifically target them and be like, you should really come out. I think it's foolhardy. If Mayor Carlisle wants to come down to a GA, I say let him speak. If Tulsi Gabbard wants to come down to a GA, I say let her speak. If uh, no fun chum wants to come down. You know? Let them speak. And then, but, you have to abide by the GA. And that needs to be made abundantly clear. Sorry. You are nobody special. I'm not anybody special. My voice only holds the weight of myself. And these people need to understand that as well. So that's the only thing that I would say about 
that. Do I still view them as a threat? Absolutely. Do I still view them as the enemy? Absolutely. But I will listen to them as long as they respect what General Assembly stands for. So I just want to clarify that. But I'll still hold on to my opinion that these people are fine. Let's go. That's okay. So, you're next. Uh, I think it's pretty sad that one human being can't accept another human being. But you wouldn't want to label somebody and that you would want to try to separate yourself from them. When I believe both of you smoke, yeah, both of you light up cigarettes. I don't know if you're aware of what the syntax is, but basically half of the price of your tobacco goes directly to the federal government, which then pays the people who you call scum. So in essence, I don't know what that makes you since you're pro supporting it, you're promoting it, and me as well. Don't think I'm not trying to kick myself under the bus because I buy beer all the time and it's also half of my beer goes to them. But I'm not sitting here calling them scum or trying to act any different than them. But I am trying to allow that human being to come and coexist with that human being even if they are scum and I can't fucking stand them. I still will coexist with them and I will not label them and call them a name or say that I'm better than them. I think that's pretty fucking pathetic that that goes on. And that's one of the sickest things that I don't like about Occupy, is that that does go on. And it goes on a lot. And it's fucking disgusting. of uh, making demands of society and setting the bar for what, us, for what others can do. Um, and then, um, to carry, well not to carry, but yeah, on, on your topic, um, yeah, there, there's a lot of egotism that goes with Occupy. Like, I see it in a lot of videos where it's, it's like, it's like this other kind of felt bad to the story that some people wear, and I just want to say that, yeah, like you were saying earlier, it's, it's very important that we don't lose hope. The way it's happened all the time, we try to break that, we try to wiggle us out, break us down, and make us lose hope. So, I don't know, I love you guys. Lose the connection okay. around yeah. him, so I had to back off. Yeah. Make it quick. Me. It doesn't make it quick. No. Okay. Yeah, no, I want to say this, you know, part of what we want to do is establish a public forum. Part of the movement is to bring people together to work out solutions you know, that we don't have. So I don't mind bringing people that even soliciting people, but like not necessarily politicians meeting guys in here, but there are all kinds of little political groups, people, actual political groups all over the state. For instance, end of July, last Sunday in July, they're going to hold a commemoration of uh, at Thomas Square. They, they bring in a lot of uh, Hawaiian leaders from all over the state. Exactly to the progressive, your friend, uh, Ikaika, knows about it. She's part of the organ, organ, organizing this. So, you know, these people can call them, the real community leaders and the grassroots guys, and hey, come kuka kuka, talk story, you know. We, tell us what you know, and we'll tell you what you know. Maybe, we're not going to agree, maybe. But, you know, the guys at the top, the GH Summit, all those, they, those guys, all the APEC guys, they have their meetings all the time. They meet, they talk story, they have dinners, you know, in their luxury resorts. Hey, the, the guys at the bottom, the grassroots, the 99%, we got to meet. We got to get together and meet together. So. That's what I think as far as inviting political politicians and not necessarily these guys, but the guys out in the country and that kind of stuff. Also, are these guys 99%ers? Oh, yeah, they are. So 
What's any different from them and you? Oh, no, these guys are better. Oh, that, that guy up there. Oh, no. Is he, is he a 1%? Well, these yeah. guys need to call he, he has aspirations for it. Yeah. But he's not, right? No. Like no, but he's a watchdog officers, for the like 1%. Like these police officers, they're not 1%ers either, right? They're people just like me and you. No, he's got quite a process. Right. So, if, all I'm saying is if you are going to talk oh, to them about okay. like that, then what we're, makes you different than them? Are you on staff? trying to make it direct. No, are you on stack, Terry? Who's on stack? These guys on stack. <laughs> there, are, there are other people that haven't been speaking. I thought we used a progressive stack. Lucas hasn't spoken yet today. Terry's been speaking all night. I've been speaking all night. Let's let somebody else speak. Take fucking stack, okay? I'm just putting people on in order. Someone That's a stack. Yeah, yeah no, but, but I just want to point out that in Occupy Honolulu, we agreed on this, that we use yeah. a progressive stack system. And so people but then from... Do it yourself. I didn't know this. I thought they were there to wreck. I was just giving you a point of process. You don't need to get mouthy with me. If you would like me to take the stack, I will take the stack. But there was no reason for you to mouth off at me for letting you know that you weren't following the process. Um, I'll take the It's always the last Sunday in uh, July. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really cool. Yeah. This may be off the topic. Okay, I'm obviously being throttled right now. Sorry. My connection is just going down. I'm being throttled already. It's the at and throttle in my account. Like I said, uh, <laughs> thinking very immediately, I know that I'm not going to be here, but I would be willing to work with somebody here, get in contact with the queer community to do work with them, because we haven't reached out to them. We've been doing a lot of outreach to the Hawaiian community to demilitarization, and we haven't reached out to queer yet. And I've been trying to get us to do that for, for a while. I've been going to Pride at Work meetings and promoting, um, but, like, no one's interested, and I just got to talk about it. Well, I gotta get a singer. Holy shit. Fuck yeah, okay. Thank you. Well, I'm letting you know that if you want to talk to me about it, you can talk to me about it and I will get you all the people you want. Yeah, I, I would If somebody else is interested in reaching out to the queer community, I totally want to have them here, but I'm not interested in doing the outreach. I don't think it should be negative towards me when I don't. I, I'm just saying that I've been, I've been talking to you guys about the time. I've been talking to you guys out there, and that, that people haven't like, latched on to it, and like people are more interested in talking to the sovereignty guys, and people are more interested in talking to demilitarization, and I've been trying to to like get other people to help me do this for a while. Well, there's no, there's no political party that's like... I'm 
Okay, guys, I'm going to shut this off for a second, restart back up on a part three. We got uh, almost an hour's worth of time on here, and I'm being throttled, so in a, in a chance to regain some uh, connection speed here, I'm going to restart this. Be right back in just a sec.